This is another problem that involves motions of sev several particles, and it says that car A and car B are traveling in adjacent lanes, and at time is equal to zero, car A is traveling at 24 miles an hour and is at the position X is equal to zero, and car B is traveling at 36 miles per hour and is at the position X is equal to 75. Knowing that car A has an acceleration of 1.8 feet per second squared, and B has a deceleration of 1.2 feet per second squared, find the time and positions that A will overtake B and the speed that each automobile is traveling. So I've drawn these two cars and car A is shown at a position zero and car B is shown at 75 feet ahead of car A. And we know that car A is traveling with an initial velocity of 24 miles per hour and car B is traveling with an initial velocity of 36 miles per hour and, and right now we're going to take the opportunity to define our positive convention we're going to say that traveling to the right is positive and it's our positive direction and our positive velocity and the other piece of information that we're given is A has an acceleration of 1.8 feet per second squared. So A is acceleration is in the positive direction and it's 1.8 feet per second squared. And B has a deceleration of 1.2 feet per second squared. So this is opposing its direction of motion and it's 1.2 feet per second squared. And in order to find the time and positions A will overtake B, we're going to have to use our kinematic equations. And they, just to refresh your memory, they are, I want to list them here, the velocity is equal to an initial velocity uh, plus the acceleration times time. A distance x is equal to an initial uh, x distance plus an initial velocity times time plus one half a t squared, a is your acceleration, and a final velocity squared is equal to an initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times your change in distance. So x, uh, final x position minus an initial x position. And if we look at the pieces of information we have here, we have an initial velocity. Uh, we have we're, we're, we have an initial position. We have an acceleration. And we're interested in finding the time in the final position. So if we fill in this piece of information, this is 24 miles per hour. And we have to take into account units here because this is miles per hour and our acceleration is, is in feet per second. So 24 miles per hour is 35.2 feet per second. The initial position is zero feet. The acceleration is... Uh, 1.8 feet per uh, feet per second squared. Our time is unknown, and our final distance is unknown. If we look at car two, we fill in the same pieces pieces of information. We have an initial velocity of 36 miles per hour, and this is equal to uh, 52.8 feet per second. We have an initial position x0 of 75 feet and we have an acceleration, a deceleration, so it's opposing our positive direction of motion of minus 1.2 feet per second squared. This is a minus sign because a deceleration is opposing what we called our positive direction. And again we are interested in finding our the time and 
uh, final position. So what do we know? We know that A has to travel, is traveling this way, B is still traveling this way, but it's slower than A. So at some time, uh, the, the position of A and B are going to be equal. So if we look at our kinematic equations, we can use this second equation here, because at some point, there, the, the position A is at is going to equal the position B is at. So at, at some time, we'll do it right here, some time the position of A is going to equal the position of B. And so if we get the position of A, x A is equal to uh, an initial position, which is zero, plus an initial velocity times time, so 35.2 uh, I don't need units right here, times a time, plus one half acceleration, 1.8 uh, times the time squared, is equal to the position of A. And we know that the position of B, the position of B, is equal to an initial position, uh, which is 75, because it starts 75 feet away from A, plus its initial velocity, 52.8, times a time, plus one half, minus 1.2, times squared, and we said at some time that we're solving for, these two x's are going to equal each other, so we can put the equations, we can set these equations equal to each other. So we have 35.2 plus 1 half 1.8t squared is equal to 75 plus 52.8t plus 1 half minus 1.2t squared. And if we solve for t, we're going to get we're going to get t is equal to t is equal to minus minus 3.32 and 15.05 seconds and we're dealing with time and this time doesn't make any sense to us so we know that our time is equal to 15.05 seconds and this is the time that A will overtake B and now in order to find the position we can plug a time back into either one of these equations and we can get the position that A and B are in so the position is equal to 35.2 times 15.05 plus 1 half times 1.8 times 15.05 squared and this is equal to a position of 733 feet. So these are your two answers for part A. Uh, it has a time of 15.05 seconds and a position of 733 feet. Now part B, uh, we, we're asked to figure out the speed of each automobile. So this is part A, this is part B, and the final speed is going to, we can look at our kinematic equations and we're going to really want to use this equation. So we're going to get a final speed is equal to an initial speed plus acceleration times time. And we just put our numbers in to this side of the equation, and we're going to get a final speed. So for car A, we're going to get the velocity of A is equal to initial velocity, which is 35.2 plus 1.8 times uh, the time, and the time is going to be at 15.05. 
I uh, hope that's on the screen. And we have a velocity of A is equal to 62.3 feet per second. And it's positive, so it means that the automobile is still traveling to the right, which is what we'd expect. And now if we look at the velocity of B, the velocity of B is equal to the initial speed, 52.8, plus the acceleration, which is minus 1.2, times the time, 15.05, and we get the speed of B is going to be equal to 34.74 feet per second. And again, this is positive, and this means even though the car has a negative deceleration, it's still moving towards the right. 